What you sitting out there looking for? Man, get in here and help me. What's up, what's up? It's your main man, Burley Rails. Welcome back to the channel. This is your first time here. Do me a favor, hit that wonderful subscribe button. I know you want to, I'll give you a second. Go ahead and do that. And also like, share, and comment, if you don't mind. You know, I would really much appreciate that. So, uh, today's vlog, man, um, I'm gonna get out here. I've been chilling for uh, most of the earlier part of the day. Um, but today, I said, you know what? You know, I told you I was gonna change the oil in, my, uh, in the rise, so. Um, got to go out here and get the necessities and I got to be honest with you guys uh, I went and got an oil filter earlier and I bought the wrong one um, thought I could remember which one it was but you know it happened so I already got all the oil and stuff um, there's the oil zero weight 40 um, it typically takes uh, seven so that's why I got this five quart right here and I got these two right here, and this is the wrong oil filter. Don't get this if you got a 390. Oh, can I focus? Can I focus? Focus a little bit? Maybe? Okay, there we go. Don't get this model if you got a 392. It's the wrong one. They tried to sell me that one at AutoZone, which it was my fault. I should have went there. I should have just went to the dealership and, uh, and picked it up. So my bad on that. It happened. So now I got to run out here. And crazy thing is, I had let my car cool off and everything so I can get it in there, so now I gotta start it back up. And I'm gonna just go ahead and run to the Dodge dealership and uh, pick up the filter. And that way I know I get the right one because they're gonna use my VIN number uh, to get it. So guys, um, that's what today is gonna be about. We're gonna get down here and I'm gonna need y'all to help me change this oil. You know, it's a tough job, but we gotta do it. So uh, once I get back out, we're gonna jack this car up, get under there, and we're gonna change that oil together, you dig? I'll be right back. Now, I know y'all didn't think I wasn't gonna bring y'all along for the ride. Come on now, I gotta bring y'all along for the ride. And plus, I'm taking like one of my little, uh, one of the little stretches of road I like to take, you know what I'm saying? Um, through like the woods and stuff like that. If you uh, follow me on Instagram, uh, I'm pretty sure you seen it when I posted it. I think I posted it on my story the other day. So, let's go through here, y'all. favorite little little road to take you know what i mean maybe because of the scenery you know stuff like that so uh it's pretty dope pretty dope pretty dope but man it's a beautiful day out here today man hope y'all are doing good hope y'all are feeling great um hope y'all got that positive energy today um i've been trying to instill nothing but positive energy in my life you know and, and avoid any kind of negative energy man that negative energy would do something to you so um, any kind of negative energy, remove it. Remove it from your circle, remove it from your life. Do what you gotta do, guys, because it'll weigh on you. Um, you know, you can't, uh, you know, you can't, um, you know, sit here and expect for positive things to happen when you uh, keep a negative, uh, negative things in your life, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, just make sure you, you know, get rid of any negative, any negative vibe, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Definitely gotta, you know, get get rid of that right now. Right now. Not right now, but right now. You know, so we uh like I said, we pushing on up to the Dodge dealership here um in uh Cordova, Tennessee, uh Wolf Chase Chrysler Dodge and Jeep. That's the spot that I used to do my reviews at um for the channel, but you know, had a hater there, so I had to, uh, you know, remove myself from that situation. So I stopped doing reviews there. But once I get to Charlotte, I'm gonna try and link up uh, with some people in North Carolina to do some car reviews at some of the dealerships with, you know. So we man, hey y'all, y'all see how my I don't mean to jump subjects, but you see how my um, 
how my roof is shining down on the uh, on the seats. You know what I'm saying? You got a thumbs up from the dude. What's happening, man? What's good? <laughs> How's it going, bro? How, how you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. All right, man. Hey, nice Ram. I like that, brother. Hey, no, no better color than white, right? No, <laughs> All right, y'all take it easy. Yeah, man, it's always dope when you can, you know, run into folks, man, that, you know, that support and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, cool folks, just random people, you know what I mean? Uh, pull up beside me, gave me the thumbs up. So I said, you know what? Let me, uh, let me drop them on the camera. You know what I mean? Drop them on the vlog. So shout out to you. I'm not sure what your name is, but hey, appreciate the thumbs up. Um, hope you hit that subscribe button. You know, so yeah, man. That's that's the cool thing about it. And that's this is what I really like about um, going into the whole retirement phase, y'all. Because I got all day to do the things I want to do. Everything, you know what I mean? And all of that is gonna be, you know, focusing on the channel and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, being out and about, uh, running into random folks and stuff like that, you know? So um, that's that's what I'm gonna love, love, love about this whole retirement thing starting in a couple days, next week actually, y'all. So I uh, wish me luck on that, man. But I'm just, you know, keeping this, this positive energy going, man. Um, this love I got for the grind, you know? That's, man, it's, it's, it's amazing, it's unbelievable. So, uh, get out here and get this oil filter before traffic get too thick out here, y'all know. It's like 2.20 right now. So, around 4 o'clock, really don't want to be on these streets. You know what I'm saying? Don't want to be on these streets like that. You know, so, um, but yeah, man, all, all positive energy. And I had, you know, a couple, um, a couple folks reach out to me, you know what I mean? That's nothing but positive. Um, you know, major shout out to, uh. To my boy Kelly Wolf, you know what I'm saying? Major shout out to the Daily Grind family. You know, they out there in Cali. Major shout out to my brother E Vapors. Um, major shout out to um, uh, the Toro 704, um, Rubix underscore three. Man, major shout out to all you guys, man. Because, um, man, it's it's about to turn up several, several notches, you dig? Especially when I get to Charlotte, you know what I'm saying? Especially when I get to Charlotte. So I can't wait, y'all. I wonder if they got anything new with the Dodge dealership, though. I typically like to, you know, see see what's new. Um, see if they might have any any wide bodies out there. You know what I mean? Um, just to you know, just to check them out. I just like looking at the wide bodies. Pretty dope. But to be honest with you, I got a 2019 now, so I don't see any benefits in you know trading in and selling my car just for the additional six thousand dollar wide body kit so and then i end up you know having to pay 50 60 grand again for another car you know what i mean so it doesn't make any sense to me might make sense to y'all i don't know but now if i had an older car if like this was a 16 or something like that i probably would have definitely um went ahead and made the upgrade but i think dodge is doing a refresh um in a year or two so um it really definitely would make sense because I would probably be mad just like I was when, you know, when I find out that, hey, they, uh, you know, they're coming out with a wild body in 20 and you bought a 19, you know what I'm saying? Man, uh, man, that pissed me off. That Man, that pissed, really, really pissed me off. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, I would've waited for the wild body, but, you know, everything happened for a reason. Everything happens in your season, you know what I'm saying? So don't try to force seasons or force reasons, you dig? So we about to pull up here to the dealership, y'all. You know what I'm saying? They had somebody come burn, they had some cars burn up out here, y'all, recently. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they got some, some chargers over there for sale. Anybody looking? Yep, we got some chargers over there. But we going over here so we can run in this parts department. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and back on in here, but over there in the corner, they had some cars burn up, y'all. Not going. Uh, they said that somebody had electrical problems when they brought their car in. But my thing is like, hey, if the car wasn't on, 
how is it an electrical thing? I think somebody probably burnt them joints up. That's just my opinion, but you know, who am I? So, um, so since I had a hater in here, you know what I mean, when I was doing my reviews here, I'm gonna, uh, you know, go ahead and leave the camera in the car running here, just grab the oil filter real quick, and I'll come back out. So we can get back to the crib, let the car cool off some more, and then uh, we can get out here and uh, get this oil changed, y'all. So stay tuned, your boy will be back. Hey, major, major, well, First and foremost, I got the oil filter, guys. Uh, bing, bang, boom. Um, major shout out to my guy, Ben, at Wolf Chase Chrysler Dodge, man. Um, just chopped it up with him uh, on my way out. He caught me uh, before I uh, got out of there. I was, you know, when I walked in there, I figured he was probably in there. He normally find me when I come in there. Uh, so major shout out to Ben, man. He's got a lot of great things going on in life. Um, real good dude. If you need a car in the Memphis area, come down to Wolf Chase Chrysler, Jeep and Dodge, and ask for Ben and tell them that really real sent you. I'm about to bust a Yui real quick, y'all. And let's get it. Yeah, so, you know, but yeah, major shout out to my guy Ben, man. He's always been a solid dude. That's the guy that I was doing the reviews with. Um, real good dude. Um, like I said, if y'all need that, need right, hey, and you probably see this today or tomorrow, but if you're looking for a black wild body scat pack, definitely need to call Ben ASAP. Get a hold of me and I can get a hold of Ben. But if you look for one, it won't be that long. I'm talking about not long at all. Black wild body scat pack coming through, lay it out. You know what I mean? Everything in it. So just holler at me. But let's push on to the crib, guys. Um, this traffic starting to get a little thick up there, y'all. Well, I don't know if you can see it down there. But yep, it's getting a little thick down there. So uh, let's go Let's go ahead and get on back to the crib, let the car cool off, and get this oil changer dig. I'm gonna holler at y'all. Hey, I gotta get y'all to check this out, yo. Just see this guy, this dope Jeep, man. Yeah, right side drive on the Jeep. I'm trying to see if I can get beside him, but if not, there he is right there. Um, right side Jeep in it. Man, I need to get up closer. That's the first time I ever seen a Jeep that was uh, right side drive. But I Probably won't be able to get up. Gosh dang it. Man, I try to look look out for y'all, man. Let y'all check this Jeep out. Oh, but we got a Tesla Model S. And that base model charger got in the way. But there's the Tesla turning in there. Um, but man, yeah, that's a that's a dope right side. I don't know if I can zoom in to them. How far? Oh. See if y'all can see them right up here. I know it's a little blurry. I zoomed in too far, y'all. My bad. But there you go, right there. That Jeep right there is right side drive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's going on there, buddy? The light got heat in the back. Huh? The light got heat in the back. Oh, yeah? What, the lady behind me? Gonna shame y'all, and I wasn't even looking, man. But I wasn't looking behind me. But dude just pulled up beside me and told me that lady like to ran into me from behind, man. Lord knows, have mercy, because if she would have did that, sweet Jesus, boy. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, God, though. You know, I keep that positive stuff. You know, that positive stuff around me. You know what I'm saying? I know she was on, had to be on the cell phone because ain't no way you can almost run into somebody unless you're not paying attention. You dig what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, that would have been bad for her today. Real bad, you know what I'm saying? Because unless she's driving some old uh, 95 uh, Kia truck, uh, SUV or whatever. But man, let me get from in front of her. I'm going to see y'all later. All right, y'all, so we back at the garage. And we are gonna take this filter, put it over there, let the car. You know what? First, we need to do is open the hood to assist with cooling off of the car. Um, take this on over here. Sit this is the filter that we're gonna use. Put this over here so we won't mistake those because I'm not gonna use that one because it's the wrong one and it's my fault. So, I'm gonna go ahead and open this hood up a little bit. The heat, 
come on up out of there. And I also need to clean this. We'll do that, uh, save that for another vlog uh, here soon. But um, yeah, um, and also what we have to do during this process is empty that oil catch can. Major shout out to Billet Technologies. My bad, it's Dusty, y'all. But uh, yeah, uh, can you see, can you focus on me, huh? Am I clear to you? Oh, yeah, major shout out to Billet Technologies. For that, so we're gonna let the car cool off, y'all, and then we'll come back. Um, also, make sure you don't hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Be ready, reels. It's right down there. You can hit it. It's easy. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, let the car cool off and come back. And get this oil change, y'all. Hey, y'all. I am back, and it is time to get this oil change. Car is cooled off, I believe, enough. So we about to really get busy. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, hey, like I said. Make sure you always subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Shout out to Lux Automotive, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Vinyl Sickness as well. Vinyl Sickness took care of all my stickers and decals on the car. Lux Automotive is who uh, I got the tail light tent from. So major shout out to them guys. But yeah, we about to, uh, we about to get busy, y'all. Um, like I said, got the oil filter, the right one, not this one, but this one. Got the oil and my tools down there. So we are gonna get busy. I'm gonna set you guys up here because the first thing we have to do is empty the uh, oil catch can. So I'm gonna get you guys set up and come right back so we can knock this out. All right guys, I found my regular mechanic gloves. You dig what I'm saying? The ones that say on it, they was actually inside the car. So, uh, all right, now let's see. Can we go ahead and get this thing off? Remember which way Happens every time, y'all. No, I don't think it's the. Yeah. There we go. Now I can't put it on so tight next time, y'all. Let's see how much oil we got in here. Glad I got the gloves though, because that's what did it. So this is in between oil changes. And I think it might be pretty full. Let's see. Oh, it's close, guys. So if you don't think that an oil catch can works, see all that oil that it caught? That's why you got one. So, this is my oil recycle right here. This is from past times of emptying it. So, sit that there. Open this up. And of course now, I'm not gonna do it over the car. I'm gonna just come over here to the side. You know what I'm gonna do? Better yet, guys. Get my funnel. Work smarter, not harder. I'm gonna go ahead and empty this in here. It's a lot of oil that just went in there that came out of the catch can, y'all. So make sure you always you know, change it. Sometimes I typically change it in between uh, oil changes or whatnot. You get a rag for that. Yeah, sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll empty it in between so it'll be like half of what it was. So let's get this back on here. It's lefty tight, righty loosey for some odd reason. Okay, don't put it on there too tight, real. Remember, not too tight, just hand tight. There we go. All right. So now, take the funnel out of here. Wrap this back up. This is where we're gonna put the oil that drains out of the car too. So of course, make sure to clean that funnel back out because I'm gonna use it again. But I just don't wanna make, make sure there ain't no old oil going back in the car. Now that we got that changed, um, it's time to get ready to change the oil. So what I'm gonna do first is you always want to, let me, matter of fact, let me set y'all up. You always want to uh, take off the oil cap because it lets some of the pressure out. So when you drain it down bottom, it don't, you know what I mean, do like that, it just drains or whatnot. So always take your oil cap off and put it somewhere where you remember. Yeah, I just typically sit it in front of the car. Now what we gotta do is we gotta lift this bag, lift this car up, y'all, and we gotta get busy. So whenever you're jacking up the car, if you have a Dodge Charger Challenger, you'll see an arrow that points to your front jack point, and it's right here. 
Um, it's not far back from the wheel well, and this is the wheel well right here, and it's just right here. I got got my floor jack. Excuse the noise. Think I got it? We're about to find out. So close the valve. Let's see, can we get it all off the ground? Got my stand here. I'm gonna bring it down to sit on that stand. Now let's get to the other side. And yeah, I'll jack that side up. Come back to y'all. All right, so we uh, got the car all lifted up, um, sitting on the two jack stands also with the jack. So this side, of course, is sitting on the jack stand. See right there. And come around this side is where we also have a jack stand uh, back there. And we have the jack as a backup. Always, always use the jack as a backup. And of course, we have plenty of room to get up under there the way we need to get it. So, let me get my, my trusted cardboard so I can lay down on you, dig? Oh, it's my bad. So, you know, I need to invest in one of those little rolling things I can roll in there on the butt. Until then, you put that cardboard up in there and get it under that. Um, I got my oil, oil pan to drain the oil. And you know what? I gotta take some pieces off before I do that. So um, let me get my tools together and we're gonna get underneath the car, guys. I'm gonna bring y'all right with me under there and we're gonna get everything taken off so we can uh, get the drain this oil. All right, so the first step, we're gonna have to take off these two, it's two screws back here. This thing says, uh, just in case you don't know which cover it is, say remove for engine service. So we're gonna take these two off and then we got two a little further up and I'll show you those in order to take this off because the oil uh, pan is right up under here. So that requires a 10 millimeter socket. And we are gonna drop that on here. Bing, bang, boom. Make sure I got it going the right way. They're pretty easy to get off. And typically what I do once I loosen them, I just come back with just the socket alone so I can get my hand on it like I want it. And I always remember where everything goes back to. You know what I mean? I didn't change my oil enough to know, you know, where all these different pins and stuff go. So set that over there. And then like I said, we got one right here. Now I said once you break them, they're pretty easy to get off. That's why I can just come back with just a socket by itself. And typically this thing will kind of, it'll hang down on one side. Once I get it out of there, get this one right here out of there, but you know, it's all good. It's plastic, so no worries y'all. Okay, so here are the ones in the front. Oh man, I'm gonna just knock myself out. This one right here, and then this one on this side, so. Um, we'll go ahead and get this one off. They, I mean, they're right beside each other. You can't miss them. I follow the camera. And this other one is right here on this side. So all I did was swing y'all around sides. Let's break that one. And then once this one comes out, we're gonna take this. Oh man, that almost hit me in the eye. Uh, once, since I got that one out now, I'm gonna just take this plastic piece and just slide it right on out. It'll slide right on out. And you can put that wherever you like. I'm gonna just slide it over from underneath the car. But this is your oil pan and your drain plug is right there. 
So we gotta, that's what we're gonna have to take off uh, right here. We're gonna have to take this drain plug off and the oil drains out of there. So I gotta set my oil pan up right. Last time this joint was on crazy tight. So I'm praying that it's not up there this tight. I don't think I put it up there that tight last time. So uh, we're gonna uh, get you guys set up so you can get a view of the drain, the oil drain process and get this old nasty oil up. I didn't hear y'all. This next portion of draining the oil is brought to you by Aquafina. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just get mad, but just thirsty. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, gotta stay hydrated out here, you dig? Yep, drinking water underneath the car. So, let's get to draining this oil. You get for the drain plug, you're gonna need a 13 millimeter uh, socket. So, I got that. Got my handy dandy ratchet. Drop that in there, and let's get busy. Move y'all a little bit closer. I don't want you to get no oil splashed in your eyes. Go ahead. Oh, y'all notice I ain't have my gloves on. I'll be right back. Oh, my shoulder stuck. See, y'all ain't tell me I forgot my gloves. Y'all ain't even tell me that. Blame that on y'all now. Y'all can't be messing up like that. You gotta remind me. Go ahead and break this plug. Not break it, break it, but break it loose. There we go. So she, as soon as you break it loose, go ahead and get your ratchet on the, off of there. And you can do the rest hand-wise. Now, I got an old glove that I use for this portion, which I'm gonna swap out. That's the one I was trying to dog on, open the oil catch can with, y'all. Um, but because I don't mind this one getting no oil on it. So, what you're gonna do is apply pressure while you're un unscrewing it. So you don't just want the oil to start coming out everywhere. So push in to apply pressure while turning. And then once you you get it out, well unseat it, then you can just pull the plug. And just take your time. I always tell y'all in all my videos, my high tools, whatever you do, take your time. There ain't no rush in it. I ain't at Jiffy Lube. I'm at Ready Rail Lube. I start to see the oil dripping right there. So to let me know I'm close. I feel it unseated. So I can go ahead one more turn just in case. And there we go. And it's hot on my hand. Oh, ah, Lord Jesus, the hot oil. <laughs> yeah, of course it went through these. But we're gonna let that drain. And hopefully my pan big enough it was last time. So. We'll let that oil drain, y'all. And uh, I'll be back to you. And a quick tip, big guys. Uh, that drain plug, make sure you wipe it off pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I always want to wipe the parts and stuff off like that. So, put it in my trusty little rag right here. Get all the old oil off of it. I believe I will have enough room in that pan. Uh, I don't know the way the oil was coming out. I was like, man, that's coming out a whole bunch of oil coming out. I don't know if it could be enough, so. I bad if y'all couldn't see, but. Got it in here cleaning it, so. It's all cleaned up. Yep, yep, it's all cleaned up, so I'm gonna sit that to the side. And let that finish draining, and we'll be back. Because next, what we have to do is we have to take the oil filter out and drain that as well. And that's right there. All right, solid family. I, um, it's, it's done uh, dripping oil. It's like a real slow drip, but you know, it's all good, it's, it's pretty much done draining. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's time to go ahead and put the plug back in there and I move on to the oil filter. So um, we're gonna, remember we cleaned off the, the plug, we cleaned it off real good and we are gonna insert it back in there. Make sure you don't cross thread it. Make sure you don't cross thread it. And Get it hand tight. Wipe any excess oil off. You always want to do clean jobs, y'all. Always want to do clean jobs. And then take my ratchet and put it on tighten. And you don't want to put it crazy tight. You just want to put it tight enough to where you know it's tight. And that's it. It ain't going nowhere. Ain't nothing leaking out neither. So. Um, let's get on over here to the other side. I'm gonna move y'all on this side and we're gonna get this uh, good old, old oil filter up out of there. So I wanna bring you guys to show you where the actual oil filter is. And 
the old filter is right here. That's it right there. Let me see if I can focus in on it for you a little bit. Yeah, right there. That's the old oil filter. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we got a special tool to get that off. You know what I'm saying? You probably could do it by hand, but you know what I mean? I like using the tools. You know what I'm saying? That That's for the job. You know what I mean? So um, we're going to get this off. Uh, let me move my arm. Man, y'all, I'm, I'm trapped. Not in the closet, but I'm trapped. This is my oil pan. And if you can see right here, there's a little platform right there to sit the oil uh, filter on so it can drain out. So uh, let's go ahead and get our special tool, y'all, and get to work on this thing, you dig? Okay, so uh, the tool that I use to get the oil filter off of, off with is this right here. Um, it was just like a couple bucks at um, AutoZone, and you just use a ratchet to go with it. So you just put, a, put the ratchet in there. Like that, snap it in there, make sure it's going the right way. And all you want to do is break it loose. Put it on the oil filter. And it's loose. Now I can do it uh, with my hand the rest of the way because it's going to start leaking. Uh, it's going to start dripping oil. So y'all stay tuned. For the follow the drip. Follow the drip, follow the drip, follow the drip. Follow the drip. There the drip. Yeah. It's tight warm too, y'all. Woo! Oh yeah. Come on out, baby. Cause my gloves are ruined. I should have had some latex gloves. But I messed that all up. I know my hands got crazy oil on them. Bam. Then we let that drain. I got a little oil on the ground, but we'll take care of that. And like I said, this glove is done. Unfortunately, we won't really need it, need it too much no more. And I give me some other ones until I get some latex gloves next time. Oh, I just let it drip right on my hand, y'all. If you wonder what I'm doing, I'm trying to take my other glove off my leg so I can use this old glove <laughs> to take this one off. Finger there, finger there. And yeah, she's so. And oils, and so is my hand, you dig? But it's all good. It's a dirty job, but somebody got to do it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna take my rag, clean my hand off, and that's pretty much done drying. Let's see, I can put something down there on the ground afterwards to get that oil up. But I ain't really stressing it because I'm moving out of here anyway. <laughs> and they trying to screw me in the apartment. I'm like, so I leave you a little bit of oil there. And what we're gonna want to do is, um, once it's completely drained. We're gonna wanna clean off all the areas well, you know, when the oil was coming out uh, that it hit because you don't wanna be driving down the road wondering why oil is, you smell oil burning, you know what I'm saying? So um, we're gonna let that drain and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna clean everything up and put the new filter on there. We back. So I was pretty much finished draining. So now what I'm gonna do is got me a good rag and my shoulder stuck again, y'all, my bad. <sighs> I got it jacked up far enough off the ground, but anyways, um, so we're gonna go and just clean up uh, any oil that we see um, on any of the parts close uh, close to the filter. Of course, we're gonna go up here around the fil where the filter goes into. We're gonna clean that up. I think that's might been the only parts there. Um, got any oil on them? All that, all cleaned up. And now it's time to go top side because we have to prep the oil filter. So let's go on up top, y'all. Prep this oil filter to get up here. And I know some of y'all probably said, "Who are you talking about prepping the oil filter?" Well, let me let me school you something. Let me learn you something real quick. Always got to prep your oil filter. Um, you know, some people have their uh, specific ways to do it. Some people just say put a little bit around the outside. Some people say pour, put a little put a little bit around the outside and um, pour oil into the filter. Me, I just put a little bit around the outside. I'm not gonna go spill it, you know, uh, putting it all in the filter and stuff like that because the car is gonna do that on its own. So if you wanna know what type of oil I use for my car, the Mobile One Zero Weight 40, the fully synthetic. Um, that's what's recommended for Dodge uh, Charger 392 engines, a 6.4 liter V8. Um, it requires seven quarts uh, for the oil change. So I got this five quart here and I got my other two quarts. But prepping this oil filter, we're gonna take 
put a little oil on our finger, and then we're gonna go around this, this uh, gasket right here. We're gonna go around the gasket and just basically uh, lube the gasket up with, uh, with some oil before we put it on there so it's, it'll seat nice. Always gotta have a trusted blade with you, you dig? So, and make sure you don't drop none of that in there. Cause you're gonna be putting the oil back in your car. Really don't do that. Don't do that, it'll be bad. All right, so the oil is right there at the top. So just stick your finger in there and then just go around. Just go around the gasket. I do it a couple times. You know what I'm saying? Inside, outside, on top. A little bit more. Inside, you know, outside. Anyway, so one more time. And she should be good. She should be good to go. See? Oh, my bad. Yeah, so. We got that ready to go. So now, put the top back on the oil here. We're gonna put this back on the shelf until we get ready to fill the car back up with oil once we finish everything downstairs. Him downstairs. <laughs> got our trusty new filter right here. And we're just gonna put it back in place. See, I always get under here and turn my shoulder up. Uh-oh, uh oh, my light just rolled. Y'all don't pay that no mind. Lord knows I thought my camera fell in the dog on oil, uh, the oil uh, pan. So make sure you put it in there. Do not, make sure you seat it right. Make sure you do not cross thread this. That's the last thing that you want to do. So just don't force it on. Just, you know, turn it until you feel it sit in the grooves. And then you just go ahead and screw it on in there. You know, most people say get it hand tight. It should be good. But what I do is I come back with my trusty tool that I used to take it off with. And I'll just make it a little snug, you know? Mm -hmm. That's why you lube it up so that when you um, tighten it, you're not um, bunching up the gasket that's in there. So we are done downstairs, y'all. So um, we got the plug, we tighten the plug up. <clears throat> We got the oil, new oil filter in there. It's tightened. And you know what's wonderful? My light rolled the right way like it was supposed to. You know, God works in mysterious ways. He lit me up, shined his light on me, y'all, while I'm changing oil. <laughs> All right, so uh, my bad, y'all. Don't, don't, don't take it too serious. Um, so we're going to get from under here, and we're going to let the car down. And um, because you don't want to uh, put your oil back in there with the car jacked up because it's at an angle, it's not going to give you a true reading. So we're gonna um, get from under here, um, get the pan out of here and all that stuff. And um, we're gonna button up down here. We're gonna put it on just the way we took it off. And then we're gonna go up top and I'll fill it back up with oil. And I'll see y'all up top. So now with the oil change, what we need to do is go back on the inside of the car. We need to reset the, um, the oil life uh, gauge or, it's not really gauge because it's digital, but the oil life uh, meter, so. Let's go and get in here. And what we're gonna do is just turn it to the run, the run position. I think we can do it from the run position. Should be able to. Make sure the radio ain't on, can't have it messing me up. Um okay. Dang it. I know y'all tired of that noise, me too. So see how it says oil change required now? That's because we have to reset. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go to our menu. Vehicle M4, you see, uh, psh, yeah, oil life, zero. Yeah, my bad, y'all. Man, I don't know why she ain't zooming like she's supposed to, man. Oh, there we go. Okay, so say oil life, zero. So what we're gonna do, it says hold okay to reset. So the okay they're talking about is right there. So we're gonna hold the okay. Bang, 100%. You see that, how, 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 just how quick that was? We on 100% now, so that's uh, basically it on the whole oil change procedure, y'all. I definitely appreciate y'all hanging with me today um, for the oil change. Make sure I'm in focus. Am I in focus? Yeah, I'm in focus. Y'all see how I'm growing this thing out, trying to catch up with Rick Ross. Yeah, I'm looking at the little viewer over here, y'all, but trying to catch up with Rick Ross. But anyway, um, that's basically it for the oil change. If you have any questions on anything that I did, please feel free to drop it in the comments below. Um, what I'm going to do now is take this old oil that's in the pan here and I am going to put it 
back into those. Um, I'm gonna do that, guys, and um, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up because after this, I'm gonna take a shower, get me something to eat, and kick back, and hopefully I can catch some NBA games on the day. So, hey, if you haven't already, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also, like, share, and comment. I really appreciate y'all coming with me like today on the vlog and stuff. And it's not just how-tos, you know, so I appreciate you riding with me and whatnot. Shout out to everybody I've seen on the road today. Um, and I'm about to get out of here, guys. I'm a little tired right now. Definitely hungry, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to get out of here. And uh, I'm going to see y'all guys on the next vlog. You dig? It's coming soon, of course, you know. So I'll holler at you. Man, man, really real. It's always solid. Always 100.